New World Patch 3.0.2 is here and there's some interesting things. Shuriken Heels is confirmed to be nerfed and we know exactly how. Tumbler Boots are getting nerfed and it looks like the Blunderbuss is as well. So yeah, the patch is coming tonight if you're in Pacific time, if you're on the west coast of the USA. If you're in EU or the UK, it's pretty much like first thing tomorrow morning at 6am UTC. I believe the UK is actually on UTC right now because the clocks just went back, whereas America haven't changed their clocks yet, so that is literally just 11pm Pacific time. And it's got a couple of interesting things. So one thing that they are doing is that they are now removing the restriction to PvP flagging on your alt characters. They think that the changes that they've done to the influence and the other protections for shell companies and stuff like that have reduced the impact of this so they're turning it off however if people exploit it they'll turn it back on all right fair enough makes sense now i won't go through everything so that we can talk about some of the more important points but there's a couple of like world experience fixes i want to draw your attention because it's always funny when they do this it's they say here that they show on the following mount races you may remember that was actually in the previous patch but it actually wasn't in the game when it went live. So maybe it will be this time. Now, one thing I do want to bring your attention to, though, is the improved bandwidth allocation for characters in large groups. Now, I don't know exactly how big of an impact this is because it's very vague, isn't it really, right? What if they've improved it by 0.1%, you know? Obviously, I have no idea. However, if you've been playing New World and you're trying to do, like, the influence races or something like that, the game's starting to get a little bit stuttery when there's a lot of players so here they've improved the bandwidth so i'm guessing that that's like just a server side thing that they've done i don't know what the cost is to that presuming there is some kind of cost but i don't know what it is so we'll see if we have a benefit here i'm guessing we will obviously that's why they've done it then we're on to the juicy bits and the first thing they talk about is the lost stopwatch artifact so this is the artifact that drops from the depths and basically they've done it to provide additional threat generation similar to normal taunt gems so this it causes your taunt abilities to activate, but it didn't cause you to actually do uh, taunts when you were just normal attacking, rendering it sort of difficult to use. However, now you don't need your actual taunt gems because it will give you the threat. That means that your gems are free if you're using this, which could be good for more damage, etc. I probably needed change to make that actually viable. And then the next one is one that they did actually tell us was coming and they fixed an issue that prevented players from getting an artifact to drop again after not picking it up following a disconnect. So if you crashed whilst it was dropped, it then meant you couldn't get it again because the game sort of thought you had it. So therefore you were literally locked out from it. Now you won't be. I'm guessing they're not just going to give it to everybody, which is a little bit sad because obviously you've technically already had it drop, but you're probably going to have to go farm them again. So if you did it from a dungeon or what have you, well, you're still sort of screwed because the dungeons aren't coming around for like four weeks at a time at this point. And again, another patch note that I think we've pretty much already had. They fixed an issue that caused the well-rounded perk on the attuned leather pants artifact to not provide 10 to all stats and incorrect to display on the tooltip with a magnify perk. That was in the patch notes two weeks ago, but alas, it is here again. It's sort of funny when they do that. I'm just mentioning it. I find it funny. Then we have some buff to some of the heart runes. So the Dark Ascent, they're literally just getting their damage increased by... Uh, the Dark Ascent is getting its damage increased by 20%, the Firestorm by 33%, and the Devourer by 26%. That's the Devourer heart rune, not the Devourer. My only concern is about this one, because a lot of people can't get this one because it's behind the worm. So if they make this one too strong, people would get very salty, I think. Even more juice here. And then let's get to the real juicy stuff. The Blunderbuss has had its base damage reduced in PB3 from minus 9% to minus 12%. That means it's going to do 3% damage less. Now, how hard is it to quantify that from just reading that? It's very difficult. However, it could be more significant than you think. You might think, oh, it's just 3%, but it's 3% to the auto attacks, it's 3% to the abilities. It could be like quite important. It might just be enough to stop some of the one ball combos some of the one shots which is actually not really a one shot it's more like an auto attack shrapnel auto attack that kind of thing so it might just tail off some of the edge of the damage it might not go far enough for the one shot they did say that the blunderbuss is a tricky place that if you nerf it too much then it doesn't really fulfill its purpose but honestly having a weapon whose purpose is literally just to one ball you down in half a second or something i don't think is great and i think a nerf might just be justified on that even without calling it very strong, even though the win rate in Outpost Russian Arena was very high. So probably warranted. Is it enough? I've no idea. I can't, you know, it's hard to quantify. They fixed an issue with the Ice Gauntlet, but that's not super interesting. What they have done, though, is they, they fixed an issue that caused flurry fleeting strikes 
upgrade to not function properly now this is basically cooldown reduction and it's been broken since the um i don't actually know when it was it season two or season three somebody said in the chat before and i can't remember but it's been definitely been broken in the expansion this is going to make the rapier even stronger like it's already the number one dps weapon in pve there's no way that's not going to be even worse now or even better depending on your point of view it is true that you generally don't need more than one rapier but the damage in this is just it's just gonna get even higher and higher pretty insane that they've done that and then not nerfed the rapier at all now these changes here so physical and elemental aversion they've increased basically from 4.2 to 4.5 now there's a big conversation there somebody in my chat was saying probably melee users are still going to use um, enchanted ward but range users might start adopting this simply to counter the other range users because whilst it's only 0.3 percent you know if you have five of them that's 1.5 percent extra not insignificant whether or not it'll really change anything for pve i sort of doubt it but it's interesting nonetheless now i don't really know if anybody was fully committing to the damage conditioning so this is basically where you take reduced damage from certain things like slash or fire or what have you right but if you did and you were, you will now actually be stronger. So if you had two pieces, it'll be instead of 8%, it would be 10% because it's getting changed from four to five. So I don't know if this will have a huge effect, but um, it's interesting. They're sort of not nerfing some things and they're letting you defend against it, perhaps. Maybe we all need to start taking more defensive perks. Maybe that's the intent. For slowing tether, they've adjusted the disintegrate bonus to apply only a single stack in on use instead of all the time effectively when you were using tether it was just constantly like triggering all the time so that's a bit of a nerf to that healthy toast has been nerfed as well it's getting its uh, percentage change from max health to 15 percent of base health base health is so much like lower that that's going to be a, a strong nerf to that one and then a big one that is sort of like hard to quantify some people thought that this would be worse but basically they've added a one second cooldown to the tumbler foot wrap shirking blessing perk effectively it was triggering all the dodges that you did now it will actually have a cooldown of one second some people wanted a stronger nerf to that basically it just stops you like doing double dodges and getting that um that 45 like very quickly if you nerf it too much you sort of nerf the whole point of artifacts right artifacts are supposed to be very strong and you need a compelling reason to take them although the fire staff was sort of laughing amusement at that but you know in theory that's the point so it's it's a start let's see how it goes especially with the combination to the fix slash nerf of shirkin heels so basically what was happening with shirkin heels is it its percentage was going up with the gear score where it's supposed to stop at 1.5 percent max and what i believe and i don't have the screenshot to hand i believe it was going up to a about three percent so effectively this cuts shirking heels in half or around about that i don't know the exact numbers you will now only get what it says and it will be scaled appropriately yes it's a fix but it also nerfs it in that it makes it a lot weaker two things can be both true it's a bit funny to me nerfing shirking heels i have a little bit of a bugbear with this because last night i went and did like three arenas and the enemy team had a healer for those three and they just beat us and there was nothing we could do and then the fourth one we had a healer and then we won and i was just like healing is just so overpowered like i understand that playing healing might not be fun but in an arena without matchmaking God, it's painful at the minute, honestly. Really, the solution to that is matchmaking, but we know that's probably like a month and a half away. However, Shuriken Heels was busted. I'm not denying that. Some fixes to the Night Veil Hollow thing. I, I'm not sure if anybody's even doing it at this point. Some economy and progression uh, and gear changes. Mostly this is just fixing some perks that shouldn't have been dropping and that kind of thing. I was a little bit worried when I saw these aptitude changes. So, for example, the expansion crafting aptitude chest now have the ability to drop timeless shards. Well, timeless shards they're not that expensive right now it's not really that valuable and i was like if does this bloat the loot pool i don't think it is somebody i know in my chat said they actually think it's just going to be like an additional thing hopefully that's true if it's bloating the loot pool then i will be very sad about it because like it would technically make adamant a little bit harder to get and we don't need that right now but um it will make time shards even less value than what they have right now so i don't really understand this change but uh, it is what it is the rest are just some minor fixes and i'm not really too hung up on that i would have liked to have seen adamant sort of have something that would make its availability a little bit more common because i think on my server right now today it's thirty-five thousand gold i think that's just a little bit too much i know you need to have some sort of things that are rare but it's just painful to have such a like standard perk be that expensive sort of feel like it should be i don't know like fifteen thousand gold or something like that that should be the target but no changes yet maybe we'll see that in the ptr for season four some fixes to crafting one of the things i want to draw your attention to 
is actually the reduced crafting cost of the gold cost of the conversions. It was very expensive at launch and now they're finally actually reducing it. That's a good change. Some fixes as well, making it so that you can actually see some of the recipes even if you don't have the mutated material on you. Yeah, good stuff. Some changes to the seasons, but again, nothing really crazy here. One of the ones is that they've actually removed the complete amount race because sometimes if you've actually finished all the mount races, you can't do it. One thing that could be something to you, it might be nothing, we don't know the conversion, but they are changing the value of marks of fortune in other countries other than the US. Basically, the price is going to change because of the you know exchange rates are changing so they're just readjusting it i don't know if there'll be anything crazy here some people might lose out some people might gain well let's face it most people are probably going to lose out they're not going to lower the prices well maybe they will we'll find out either way just be aware of that if you want to get your max of fortune and you feel like the exchange rate is favorable to you buy them today buy them now to recap pvp flag no you can do that anytime you like your alts are fine lost stop watch buffed as a tanking item as well the fix that if you get disconnected or crash and you didn't get the artifact that's in the blunderboss is getting a nerf we'll see how big of a hit it is rapey is going to be very 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 strong some adjustments to some of the perks i don't know if they'll go far enough we'll see the sort of small changes whether or not they'll have big impacts i'm not really sure tumblr foot wraps i don't actually know why this is here technically i mean i guess it's a perk that's getting a cooldown of one second and shuriken heals is getting fixed slash nerfed sorry if i seem a little bit rushed today i'm desperately trying to do this and go trick or trick trick or treat in with the little one be sure out to my patrons i really appreciate you guys and if you want to come and see me play this first thing tomorrow i'm literally trying to get the last artifact that i need come and follow me over on twitch other than that have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye